So I'm going to be partnering with uh, Hollywood in Mongolia, and today I'm joined by Mr. Craig Russell. Uh, he's a sound mixer. He has worked on the, the Transformers uh, films, and also, yeah. and um, if I believe it right, you worked on Robocop, the new Robocop, right? I did. The, the last Robocop I did work on, and uh, so I've done a lot of robot movies. Yes, yes, it seems um, like that. I actually, five Transformer movies, two Terminator movies, and a Robocop. So, Terminator Genesis, right? Uh, That's correct. Yeah, yeah, with uh, John Chu. Uh, uh, no, no, uh, who directed that? Oh, I just blanked. That was a, that was a, a, a GI Joe, I believe it was, or something. Anyway, so. So, what what brings you to Mongolia, and uh, what? Well, I got a I got a interesting phone call mm -hmm. that says we're we're there's a first annual Hollywood in Mongolia event taking place May first through the seventh. And we would love to know if you would be available to come and participate. And I thought, well, I have a job right now that it might move and might allow me the time to be able to come do this. Mm -hmm. um, and so I checked with that director. Uh, and so it moved later. So I was open and I thought, well, I could sit home mm -hmm. or I could come to a, a beautiful country mm -hmm. and meet some new people um, and talk to uh, share experiences with making movies and being a part of an industry that I've adored my, my whole life. And so, uh, so, uh, so here we are, and today was day one, and the, the uh, opening ceremonies was phenomenal, really beautiful. Uh, I enjoyed all of the music and the dance and um, costumes, and everything was really cool. Uh, and so, uh, so far, um, everyone from um, Dulana, and uh, uh, has been, you know, uh, Bella uh, has been amazing to get us all here. Um, uh, very kind. And so, uh, so we're excited. We're excited to be here and try to, you know, inspire uh, young filmmakers um, to uh, get a little insight to what we've been doing uh, throughout our careers. So prior to coming to Mongolia, uh, what kind of things that you uh, maybe no knew about Mongolia, and maybe coming here maybe shifted your perception of Mongolia. I didn't know much. I'm going to be very honest. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I am not a historian per se, uh -huh. um, and so uh, you know. But then I, you know, I started to look and investigate, and thought, you know, the, culturally speaking, I thought this could be really a, a fascinating opportunity mm -hmm. um, to learn more. You know, about a, an amazing country that. Um, you know, has such deep, you know, heritage and, uh, and so, uh, and artistically, you know, you say, you know, I've seen images mm -hmm. that I found to be very interesting and cool looking that, oh. you know, you go, you know, movies are images and sound um, and performance. And so in a lot of the photos I was looking at, I sensed culturally a big a strength as far as performance, you know, uh, sharing, uh, you know, kind of who we are through the arts, through dance, through music, yeah. So, um, and I'm not, I'm not privy to uh, films made here, mm -hmm. uh, so I don't know your big stars, <laughs> and I don't, you know. Maybe I think you've met all of them here. You I'm know, saying. yeah, I've met a few. I've met a few. And so, uh, so it's exciting. You know, this is a, a great opportunity, and uh, I'm thankful for that. So, speaking of, you worked on a huge blockbuster films, yes. and and uh, like people that you probably know about, Genghis Khan, right? Correct. Yes. yes and, absolutely. And why do you think, in your opinion, that Hollywood has not touched on Genghis Khan and and try to make that into a, a huge blockbuster? Well, you know, funny that you say that because um, I, I think it's time. I really do, and I'm talking to a number of producers here now, mm -hmm. too, because I'm I, I've been doing sound for 35 plus years in film. I'm also producing now as well. So, uh, and I have a, a great team of people because mm -hmm. I know a lot of people working in Hollywood for 35 years. I hope so. So, so yeah. a lot of people, and uh, and and so now it's like you know, well, what, let's let's tell a great story, and and have it be really passionate and true and authentic. You know, uh, so the world can see this incredible, you know, uh, arc of what this country's gone through as a people, um, and uh, and what and what you're most proud of, you know. And so, 
so we're, I think we're having dialogue about that now to say, how can we work together? How can we you know, uh, merge Hollywood and the talent of those that have been making movies a long time? Um, and not to make a Hollywood movie per se, but to, to try to infuse um, you know, the, 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 the abilities that we have as filmmakers to, you know, to, to but we want to stay true to the subject, you know, and it's, it's similar to, I did a movie for Michael Bay called 13 Hours, and s different from the Transformer movies that are all fantasy and all fun, 13 Hours was an authentic, true story of four soldiers that basically saved 20 some odd Americans in Benghazi when they were attacked. And he wanted to be true to those guys and, and pay honor to them by not making a, a Hollywood movie. Mm -hmm. Let's be true. And it was really one of my favorite movies that I worked with with Michael. Um, so, so I think it, there's plenty to, uh, to talk about to find the right story and how to, say, uh, how to tell it and, and put together the right team to do that. Thank you for your time, yeah, yeah. sir. Thanks and, for having me. Enjoy staying in Mongolia. Thank you, Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you so much. And I hope, I hope we can get to do some, things, uh, some films together here. I'd love to come here, mix. That's the best way to teach younger guys that are mixing if they're going to be doing my job. Um, bring in somebody who really knows what they're doing and, and having... Having mixed over 200 movies, there's a lot of knowledge there.